Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on valuation. In this video, we will discuss about the basics of valuation. I am G. Arun, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Sri Vengadeshwara College of Engineering. Valuation is, uh, it is a technique of uh, determining the price of a property. Uh, price of a property property may be factory or any business establishment any engineering structures land and the by by valuation you'll get to know the present day value of the property and valuation is both art and a science as well so why do we need what's the need for valuation the purpose of valuation or the following one is buying and selling of a property whenever someone wants to buy or sell a property they'll have to value the property before buying it or before selling it before you put up the board it's for sale what you do is you evaluate the property you'll see how much the property is worth for and then you'll negotiate with the potential buyer and also very well before buying you look for the recent transactions in that area how much the building is worth for and you'll find out the value of a property the next is taxation taxation in the sense whenever uh, government uh, whenever you're supposed to pay uh, the tax on the building the government will value it and based on the valuation of the building the government will tax the building okay and next is rent fixation rent fixation is when you have uh, when the property is being let out for rent uh, before you actually let let it out for rent you will have to uh, evaluate the building so that you can have uh, a certain percentage on the capital cost as the rent as an annual rent okay and next next purpose is for security of loans or mortgage security of loans or mortgages is when you when you are going to pledge your property when you approach the loan against your property to the bank the valuation for the property has to be done and compulsory acquisition is when a property is pledged and when uh, when the property is going to be taken over by the banks or when when there is when the property is being leveraged and uh, when it is being taken over by com by compulsory acquisition uh, again the valuation has to be done and we also tend to do valuation for insurance if you would like to insure your property you can you you have to value it and only based on the value of your property the building can be insured and next is for betterment charges for betterment charges you have you have a 25 year or 30 year old structure and you wanted to renovate the building and if you would like to reno renovate the building you will have to know the present day value for the building only then you can decide upon how much you can spend on betterment charges okay and next is gross income these are the basic terms which are associated with um, with the valuation first one is gross income gross income is the total income that you get from a property total income in the sense how much you actually collect from the tenant you have a property and uh, the tenant is paying you rent of 5000 per month and it's the annual rent and, and uh, the annual rent for that property is going to be 12 into 5 12 into 5000 it's going to be 60,000 per year okay and next is net income net income is how much it is left after outgoings so if at all if you're going to collect 60,000 rent for the property you cannot pocket the entire 60,000 without maintaining the building so you have to set a certain amount of the gross income towards the maintenance of the building and the amount left after the maintenance and other outgoings is called net income or the net return you can call it outgoings or so outgoings what are outgoings outgoings are the expenditure that is kept to maintain 
the revenue from the building the expenses that you incur while maintaining the revenue from the building for maintaining the revenue on a b property how much you spend okay so what are the aspects of uh, outgoing on what what are the uh, terms on which you will uh, on terms which you will which you will uh, will meet the outgoings so first one is taxes taxes uh, taxes include the tax that you have to pay for the municipality wealth tax and other uh, taxes okay and repairs so how much you you spend on the repairs that will also contribute towards outgoing so usually 10 to 15 percentage of the gross income is considered uh, is considered on repairs and next is management and collection charges management and collection charges or the charges that uh, you have a property and you have some personnel for maintaining the property and you have someone for collecting the rent I mean the person can collect the rent and uh, you have common amenities and uh, the electricity charges for the common amenities on all that stuff will come under the management and collection charges and next is sinking fund sinking fund is a certain amount that you set aside every year to accumulate uh, uh, to accumulate a sum when the life of the building is over okay and that is sinking fund so uh, a life of the building is 60 years and at the end of the life of the building you should have some uh, some amount left in your hand to have that as uh, uh, have that as uh, an initial amount for starting the construction right so that amount is called sinking fund there is a formula for calculating the sinking fund for the for for the building okay we'll discuss that in the upcoming videos okay loss of rent so if you have a property which is being let out you cannot be sure of rent for every 12 months okay uh, there may be a period where uh, you'll you'll suffer from um, loss of rent so that will also be considered as outgoings and uh, miscellaneous expenses or other expenses that is being kept uh, I mean that is being incurred while maintaining uh, the building like uh, electricity charges for lifts pumps and lighting and other charges so uh, any other charges has to be borne by the owner.